You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So yesterday I um, shared a book review about Household Hints from Heloise. Um, and this book review is a bit different than that. Um, so this book is entitled, well, let me just start by saying that if you're a teenager, you probably should stop watching this video right now because you might be offended. And if you're an adult, keep watching this video because it might help you with your kids. So if you're an adult, keep watching. If you're a teen, you probably need to search for another video. But if you can handle it, it's all good. Okay, this book is entitled, ready for it? Entitled, Yes, Your Teen Is Crazy, Loving Your Kid, Without Losing Your Mind by um, Michael T. Bradley. Um, I have to say right now that as of this recording, it's July 5th, 2019, I have a teenager. He is 13 years old. Um, so I can vouch for some of this um, advice they are giving us as parents of teenagers. So there's a little disclaimer there. Um, I've actually been reading this book for a while, but I finally was able to finish it um, because I was doing some more book reviews of other books that I actually can't video, but I have a blog that I can um, do a separate book review of the books that I have reviewed before. Um, and I probably will put that in the description below if I can remember. Um, so the author, Michael Bradley, is a psychologist. Um, he covers different topics such as drugs and dating and other things. And I think one of the misconceptions I think some parents have is because if your kid is between 11 and 17 years old, means that you might give them a little less supervision because they know how to take care of themselves mostly. I mean, by that time, most kids are potty trained. Most kids know how to cook. Some people know, or some kids know how to clean up after themselves and they know how to do a lot of different things. Um, but especially in the 13 to 17 crowd. Um, but don't fall for that. Um, in my opinion, they need to have a little more supervision because you're giving them increased freedom if that makes sense. Um, so when you're navigating a newfound freedom or responsibility, you want to help them use that more wisely and tr uh, help trust that you're going to use that wisely and make decisions wisely. Um, so this book has 334 pages but it also has suggested reading and an index, which makes it 342 pages. So it is a bit of a read. Um, I think if you can get um, through the slow parts, then it will be engaging and set the foundation of what you want to get out of it. Um, one of the other suggestions I was happy to find that although your child is a teen, and I'm talking more of the 13 to 17 crowd, but I know that preteens is from about 11 to 13, maybe younger, um, is that it's more important ever to continue monitor, monitoring their internet usage and their access. Um, another thing I learned is that the birds and the bees talk and I know a lot of people are scared about the birds and the bees. Um, 
it should not be one big talk. It should be a series of little talks from knowing the proper terms of the anatomy to knowing what is appropriate for every stage of their development. Because my son is 13 as of this recording, and he is not entertained by the idea of dating women right now, or young women right now. And it's good. It, it's fine. Um, different kids have different stages. Um, but knowing what is appropriate, how to treat the opposite sex is very important. And especially in this day and age where people think that chivalry is dead, um, it's not. Because there are guys out there that will treat women with respect. And um, I think we need to train our boys and our girls um, to not only know the signs, but to treat the other person like they would want to be treated. Um, so this is a great book. I recommend this book to any parent at any stage, but especially a teenager in the 13 to 17 years old demographic. Um, I like how the author wasn't too preachy, preachy because he said that um, the sex and dating and stuff like that um, is according to your religious beliefs and I'm not going to tell you how to talk to your teen because that's completely up to you because some religions, you know, some religions forbid it. Some religions are like, well, teach them this. And, you know, these psychologists are not in the business of telling them, tell them this and this is how they'll react because they don't know your child. So, um, so this was a book that was both interesting and not too preachy, which is what I like, but just from a psychologist's point of view. Um, so this was a great book. I recommend it. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I will probably have a blog post up in the next couple of days with some book review posts that I'm not allowed to share here. So, um, thanks for, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again next week. Bye!